What's up, YouTube? It's Jacob from Always Fresh Apparel, and I guess I should say slash bare knuckles, coming at you guys with another video. Told you guys I wasn't done, I just needed some time. So here we are today. We're gonna talk about just some things I've been excited about in the clothing world, um, things I've been picking up, stuff I've been wearing. I really haven't been copping a lot of stuff, spending a lot of money. When you're starting to make your own brand, you kind of realize that you got every dollar that you have, you want to put into like sampling or production or, or you know marketing or something like that. So I haven't been using my money to, to buy super expensive pieces, but I have some stuff I want to show you today that I got some good sales on. And um, yeah, so let's do it. So I, first off, I want to thank everyone for supporting Bare Knuckles. That was crazy. Um, me and Cole are very, very appreciative. Um, we're working on the second collection right now. We're, we're gonna um, keep pumping these samples out. Uh, sorry, this is my, this is something else that I, you guys haven't noticed from my last video. Brewster, come here. Brewster, come here. So I got a dog, and his name is Bruce, and he's a mini dachshund, and he's about eight pounds, and he is a terror with paper bags. So um, yeah, we're gonna do about 16 to 20 pieces, so that's almost double what we did for the first collection. So we really are here trying to provide like amazing quality garments at like a reasonable price. So we're really excited about the brand. I got some things that I've been wearing that I'll show you guys. So let's just get right into it. Let's do some t-shirts, let's do that. All right, first up, as you guys know, we've been rocking the vintage tees just because of the way they feel, the way they're faded, the, the graphics have been washed off. Um, that's what we took a lot of inspiration on for the first um, collection of Bare Knuckles was just how a vintage tee feels. This one has been my favorite for a few months now. This is this Pearl Jam Yield t-shirt that I got from 1998. On the back, um, it says Pearl Jam Yield 98 and it has all the cities around. I really love this one. I got it off a dude on eBay. This was his actual shirt. He actually was at the concert. So I love stories like that. Um, this is an XL, you know, to show you guys the fade, the wash, the graphics. So here's this one. Next up, we got my man Luke Vicious taking inspiration again from the vintage tees. This is something that I've been doing to my own vintage tees. So for, for instance, if I don't like the graphic of that one, I'll just turn it inside out if I want a basic blank t-shirt. So on it, like, so Luke Vicious made this t-shirt with it already being inside out, which is a really nice touch. So the collar is, um, you know, like it's inside out. And then he printed the graphic on the backside um, and it's a super, it looks like it's been worn and washed a bunch of times. It's super wide and, and short and oversized. So you know I had to show love to my guy. So that's that. Next up, when me and Cole were down in LA working on samples and production for collection two just a month ago, I stopped by Union LA and I had to support my guy, Ruigi. Um, we, we did an event with him up here in Portland a few years ago and him and I have been friends ever since. I got the Rude Boys long sleeve with the washed up checkerboard on the arm right there. This is an XL, it fits pretty big so I could have gone large. So I'll see if there's any left online at any store so I can link you guys. So yeah, I don't have too many long sleeves. This Rude Boys ones is one that I'm gonna wear with like shorts. I have a pair of Eric Emanuel shorts and you just wear like white shoes and it's just a real clean summer fit at the nighttime. So here you guys go, rude. Moving on to uh, uh, jackets. This was it. This was five minutes. This is the bare knuckles striped denim jacket that sold out on our website in five minutes. Um, and that we're gonna be doing a restock on. So all you people that have been asking, it's coming. Just gotta give us some production time, all right? We didn't know that it was gonna be that crazy, but people are loving it, so we're doing it. Okay, um, so this is it right here. We based it off of this a vintage jacket that I had, the fit, it's short, it's wide. Um, we did three different washes to it. I mean, come on, I mean, come on. I mean, my guy, this started out completely black and red, completely black and red. I, I mean, I'll, I'll put a pick up right there, pick. Josh, can we get that? Look at that fade, everybody. Look at the tag. Look at the care tag. You know what I mean? This jacket is something that we really, really were, were stoked about and loved. And I'm glad that everyone else felt the same way. Um, we are gonna be doing a restock, like I said, and we're gonna be doing another colorway for fall. So, I mean, come on guys. All right, you getting this? Look at the bad boy. Look at this unit. I mean, this thing, I could fit both of us in there. So this is the Raph Simmons you know what, let me just introduce you real quick. Hey, no, come here. Thank you, this is Bruce, thank you. Okay, thank you. This is Bruce. You guys, if everyone wants to see how long he is, let me try to get 
Hey, don't growl at me. That's how long he is. He's my best friend. We hang out every day. See, thank you. Okay. And uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to keep him uh, entertained. So, you know, we got this little stick down here. You want to show up? That I'm going to let him go. Go! There we go. So there we go. That's what he's been doing while we're, we're filming. Okay. And if he's down here, Josh might pan down every night. Okay. He's getting, he's getting the raft. Get him. He's getting the raft. Get off. Let's do, you, want, you want to do some training? Let's do some training. Come on. Follow. Well, don't follow me. My room's kind of messy. Hold on. Okay. Rich, come here. Rich, go up. Good boy. Come here. Sit. Shake. Good boy. Bruce. Jump. Good boy. Jump. Bruce. So I caught this. I'm sorry for the, the, the little sidetrack. I caught this on the LNCC sale, I think, like a, a few months ago. And I caught this in a small, I believe, which is just absolutely massive. Me and Sanch have the same one. Um, I don't get to wear it too much just because it's a little warm here, but um, I like to wear it with the hoodie underneath or with the t-shirt underneath and then button it. But it's just something that I don't have too many. I don't really think you do either. Like that like middle layer is always hard for me. Like I'm cool on the t-shirts. I got a bunch of jackets, but like that weird middle layer of do you do a flannel? Do you do a sweatshirt? Do you do a sweater? So that's why I wanted to get this piece to kind of have an option. Um, so there is that Raph Simmons getting into them pants. This is a pair, you guys know, needles. Um, they're really easy. I was wearing a bunch of denim for a while and I love denim, but I just never really had like a good cozy pair of like fashionable pants, like sweatpants or sweatpants. But like, so these are like velour, um, they're like cropped, they're really, really cozy and they actually look um, really good when you wear like a t-shirt and some like, you know, some vans or whatever. Um, so I really, I got these in a large, I got them on grail for like way under retail. Dude only wore them a few times, so. Um, yeah, these are awesome. Um, I hope to get a few colorways in the future. Keep it rolling, Josh, we're moving along. This is a pair that I was stoked to find. Um, my boy Alexander Bortz, when he was shooting the first collection out here, he told me, he was like, yo, if you ever get vintage jeans, Rustler are like the best fit. So um, I found these Rustlers, I don't even remember where, maybe in Spokane when I was up there with my girlfriend. Um, and man, this is like the best, like look at the back. This is like the best fade and wash that I've seen on a pair of wrestlers. I see wrestlers all the time when I go vintage shopping, but never like with this nice, like a uh, light fade with the paint with like, and it's not overdone paint splatter, you know, like this is like a really, really good pair. I wore these with my Elite loafers that you'll see soon and I got kind of ripped apart. So we'll just wait. I get ripped apart all the time. Um, I don't know what he's chewing on. I didn't give him anything. Well, Things that happen to dogs. Okay, um, so yeah, Rustler, really nice. This right here is one of the whole. Get that real quick. Just he can't he can't just settle. I can't just do this. Look, I mean I can't just. Okay, back up here. This pair of pants was one of the whole reasons I started. I can't focus. Was one of the whole reasons I started bare knuckles in the first place. I could not for the life of me find a pair of slim, because I like slim fitting jeans. I Trust me, I do. But I couldn't find a pair that fit higher on your waist. So you know what we did? We made it. So here you guys go. This is the skinny jean and Japanese selvage from Bare Knuckles. Let me get that stuff. So the thing is, and I'll give you a little insight into the next collection, this shit was so expensive to make. Don't believe we're gonna go selvage just because that it was just insanely, the, the price per yard was just like crazy. But we're gonna keep the fit, keep the details that you guys made, that you guys loved about it. Um, man, I had, so me and Josh both had to get these hemmed. Um, we made them intentionally long so that you could hem them to where you wanted them to be. They hit right about at my ankle. So they um, they show off the, the shoe that you're rocking really, really well. Look at that rise. I mean, that's a 13 inch rise on a skinny jean. Unheard of, unheard of, but we did it. We did it. I got the Elite's belt, um, nice little thing, and one thing that we did is we made these belt loops big enough to fit any belt. Triple stitch detail just down to the pocket. We got the Cobrax. We got, see how like that, that nail kind of got, uh, so we did an oil wash. So see how that nail kind of got a little bit of that oil wash on there? Really nice pair of jeans. Would you say it's your most worn pair of jeans? I would say so. Okay. This is a pair of Ekaslada jeans that I accidentally just have inside out when I was washing them, but you know, But you know what? I might, I might, I might wear them like that. It's kind of cool. Look at that. 
Isn't that kind of cool? Anyway, let me turn them inside, inside right, right side out. Okay, so this is what they look like. They're like an over-dyed, oh yeah, look at that. Over-dyed, like, almost like yellow color with these back pockets that look like, I think they call them the E or something, where like the, you, the back pockets enter like this. Um, these actually do have a nice high rise. I think this is like a 12 inch rise, but they're more of like a, a, a straight leg instead of a skinny. But I saw these on, I think it was LNCC also, and I, you know, I said, let's do it, pull the trigger. Never really, you know, cop yellow pants before, so let's do it, Ekaslada, very nice. Let's get into the shoes. Getting into the shoes. I needed a new pair of white kicks. Saw these on Essence, thought, you know what, let's give them a try. These are called like the Vans, they're like the Epoch, E-P-O-C-H sneaker. And it's kind of just like, it looks like a Converse One Star mixed with an old school. So I kind of thought that'd be a nice little switch up for you guys go. They do run a little big. I wish I would have gotten an eight, but I got an eight and a half. Um, I'll link these on Essence. They still got full size runs. Like this isn't selling out. No one really knows what these are but they have multiple colorways too. I'm stoked on them. The Vans Epoch sneaker. Okay, keep rolling. They fried me young. They fr Look at me. They fried me young. They said, hi, hi. What, what was that Arthur meme? They said, hi, how you think stay on top of your head when your ears are down there or whatever. You ever seen that one? They fried me young. They fried me for these, but you know what? I know we're gonna be seeing people rocking these soon, so I don't care. These are the Alix Adler Loafer. Um, I wore them with the Rustler pants right here. Very Alessandro vibes, very um, Michael Jackson Thriller vibes, but you know what, I'm okay with it. This is gonna be something that I'll wear with. This is gonna be something that I'll wear with suits. Um, maybe that I'll wear with uh, shorts and like no socks, show the leg. Um, yeah, I'm stoked on these. I got these for 200 bucks. They're like, what are, you, what are you laughing at, him or me? Yeah, he won't stop, man. This is my life. Okay, you got the nice, oh, oh, what's that? Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, the Fragment Elix necklace? Someone has this on grill for $450? Only giving it to friends and family? Keeping it going with Elix? Oh, man, I got these, finally. These are the Elix Chelsea boot. When I was in Paris, talking with Matt and Jen, when we were buying for spring summer 19 at the shop, uh, I saw these on, you know, in the showroom and I was like, we gotta get these. And we had them on order, but our order was just too much that we, the budget was too big, so we had to cancel some stuff. And unfortunately, this shoe was one of the ones we had to cancel. So I thought in my life, I was never gonna be able to get them. Well, guess what? I found them on sale and I got an extra 10% off. I got these for 196. So, uh, do you know what I'm gonna say right now? You just say it. Don't tell me you can't find Steve. Don't. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Hey, look at me. Look at me. I don't want to hear, hey, that you can't find steel. Shake. Good boy. So, these are a 41, my size, last pair left. Copped them. They got that kind of nice square round, if that makes sense. Like, it kind of comes up, but it's still kind of round. It's not like pointy at all. In this nice charcoal colorway. Um, the height is perfect. The met the you know, just everything's amazing about these. You can get these resold. Um, I'm stoked. Um, man, so thank you guys so much. You know, I was nervous to do this video at first. You know, I'm not I'm not used to be doing this stuff. It's been a year, but you know, I got my rhythm back. You might see me again. You never know. Um, Bruce, come here. Bruce, come, come here. Sit. That's my boy right there, come here. This is my best friend right here. So you might be seeing this again. Thank you guys for supporting Bare Knuckles. It means the world to us, like I said. Like, um, we're really gonna be pushing fall, winter 18 hard. We're looking into a few retailers. You might see us in some stores, some kind of, you know, maybe some bigger ones. We're working on that at the moment. Um, yeah, we just hope to see this thing take off and we appreciate every single one of you guys for for you know supporting it and, and supporting me since 2012 like that's been crazy from huff snapback reviews till till now you know um it means a lot so that was a little real moment there um thank you to josh on the camera everyone give him a, a thank everyone give a shout out to bruce bruce come here that's what that's what you get for getting the toxin he has very selective hearing bruce come bruce come oh we got him here he is hey Sit, shake, 
Oh, that was more of a jump. He's just a very happy guy. He just wants to play all the time. So I'm gonna go play with him now and then I'm gonna edit this. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll say it and remember to stay fresh, my friends. Peace.